Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michael Faust. My great pleasure to have you on this Zoom today. This is our weekly AMA, Ask Me Anything, but I always have a bit of a topic I also like to start with before we get into the question time. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a breakdown of the Founders Packs, the Accelerator Pack, and also the new Robin Hood Pack that was released on the Zoom May 1. So, Okay, so just to recap, we know that the founders phase for the blockchain sports project began on February 21, 2022, and will run through until August 16th this year. So it's basically a, almost a six-month run. And then September 1, the project goes live to the public. If you want to participate in the founders phase, bit like I said, getting in early on the Uber, Airbnb, Netflix, uh, Spotify deal before they went live to the public, you need to get a founder's pack to participate. And this is how you access all this lifetime, life of the project that is, digital and in real life IRL rewards. So let's talk about the different packs that are available and break that down. So basically, <clears throat> everybody... Uh, must have an academy pack. The academy pack is a pack you could start with if you want to start at the bare minimum level, but basically doesn't have any significant value except that it gives you an NFT, a partial ownership in the sporty academies they're building I'm in Brazil. But it does give you the ability to refer other people and earn some commissions on your direct referral. So if you're somebody came to me and said, Michael, I really don't have any money. I can probably scrape together $100, but I'm willing to go to work. That's a great option. Otherwise, any founders pack that you purchase, the academy pack is automatically added to those packs. The, the column on the left is was the initial uh, most discounted price that was available, and I'll explain a bit more about that in a minute. Be aware that each of these different packs you can upgrade with starting at $500 or up to $100,000, and you can upgrade and you just pay the difference between what you've already paid before. There's a certain number of packs available. So for example, on the $500 pack, there is only 400,000 of these available. So once they go, they're gone. But when you upgrade from say 500 to a $2,000 pack, you're getting all the benefits of the previous pack, but you're also releasing that previous pack back into the marketplace. So so if you add one of these $500 packs and you upgrade to 2000, your pack will be actually released for somebody else to purchase, but you still get all the benefits of your previous packs and the one that you're upgrading to. And so obviously as you work your way through, the ultimate goal is to get to the $100,000 level. That's basically where you get the maximum amount of rewards. Now, for me personally, when I'm approaching any opportunity, I always look at how can I extract the maximum value? Don't look at this from what you can afford. Look at this from an actual commercial point of view, from an entrepreneur's point of view, from an investment point of view of how can I extract the most out of this? Well, obviously, the, the best way to extract the most out of this is the top level. So shoot for the top level and do whatever you can between now and August 16th to make that possible. And if you don't quite hit the mark, there's at least you've gone as far as you possibly can. You've done everything within your power to get there. So the 100,000, for example, there's only 2,000 of those available. So as we go higher in number of packs at the higher cost, there's less of these packs available. Now, all of these packs come with a certain amount of nodes, and basically nodes are the physical hardware that actually adds security to the blockchain that we're building, and it, it's, it's what distributes the tokens back into public circulation. So I'll give an example. Imagine that we've got some um, um, uh, 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 gold mine, and we've dug up the gold, the nodes are like the printing press that mints the gold and puts into circulation with the gold coins being the currency of the economy. Our economy centers around blockchain sports. 
the framework for our economy is the blockchain that we're creating. So the blockchain enables the economy to happen. It enables people to interact with our economy and access all the different parts of our ecosystem. And the token, our ATLA token, is the, as far as the currency of that ecosystem. And the nodes are basically minting just like you mint the goal into a gold coin and put it out there in the marketplace, it's minting into circulation. So to give you an example, on the $500 pack, you can see there you've got 937 and a half tokens, and they're minted into circulation over a period of 18 months. Um, basically, your tokens are released into the marketplace. So the only tokens that are going to be in the ecosystem that are actually used by, by all the people interacting are the tokens that we mint and also an allocation that's set aside for rewards. And you see there, there's digital rewards in column number four. And those digital rewards are distributed. They're different types of rewards. So we mint into circulation our Atla token we validate transactions on the blockchain, just like you go to the shop and you tap your card on the terminal and maybe you paid with a Visa card, you paid with a MasterCard, you use your Google Pay account, your Apple Pay account, um, your PayPal account. It could be any one of you know 20 or 30 different payment systems are out there. Depending on which country you're in, you'll find it'll vary from country to country. But that one terminal is basically performing a transactions for multiple organizations. Well, that's sort of like what our nodes are. Our nodes are performing multiple tasks. They're not just minting into circulation our token, but they're validating transactions and they're helping to you know validate transactions of wallet to wallet transfers as people come from alternative blockchains into our ecosystem is a bit like they've got their own blockchain that runs their own world they come into our world they've got to cross as far as the train track into a different size train track with different rules into our world and then exit back out into another blockchain I'm trying to give you some word pictures here and we've got our own exchange which allows people to take their for example their their dollars or their british pounds or their euros or their thai bar and convert them into cryptocurrency also allow them to convert one cryptocurrency into another cryptocurrency, and then back out to fiat. And all these things, just like when you go to the airport and you travel and you take your local country currency, and maybe you go to a different country, you've got to change your currency for that country currency, and they charge you a fee for that. So all these different types of things create revenue. This is how this is you know how Apple Pay and Google Pay and Visa and Mastercard and Amex and Discovery Card and all these different payment systems out there make billions of dollars every year out of all the transaction fees. Well, similar here, we've got our own ecosystem, whereas people want to take advantage of all the different aspects of our um, environment, they've got to interact with our blockchain, our nodes of validating these things, generating fees, and those rewards are being distributed back to you. And depending on which pack you've got, that's going to determine how much of these different rewards you're going to get. Now, those rewards are paid out in our ATLA tokens. So on one hand, on one side, we've got an allocation of tokens that our nodes as founders pack owners are minting into circulation. We're releasing every day into circulation these tokens. In addition, there's another allocation of tokens that are used to reward us in these digital rewards. So initially for the first 18 months, the only ATLA tokens that are generally going to be out there are going to be the ones that we mint and the ones that we own. And you own them. They're your asset. It's a bit like those gold coins you're putting into circulation are your coins. People have to buy them off you. And the same as the rewards, if they want to get those ATLA tokens, they've got to get it off you on an exchange. So it's an asset that can grow in value. Then we've got these real life rewards. Now, these are paid on a quarterly basis. So starting September 1, every quarter, they will look at the revenue that's come in. Revenue that's come in from player transfers, for example, where... You know, a player comes out of the um, academy, he gets signed up by a club, there's a transfer fee or a fee to sign them on. And then he gets signed up to a higher level club and they pay a transfer fee. And then he gets 
signed up by Asher Liverpool, for example, or some top-tier club, and they pay tens of millions of dollars, maybe $100 million or more to sign that player on. Well, that all generates revenue. We've got the royalties from the actual training academies and the clubs. We've got the health and sports sciences. So we've got clubs, for example, who want to get access to our sports and health science technology. They'll pay a license fee to access that. And they'll have to keep paying that license fee to keep using that technology. That's an ongoing revenue stream. Then we've got the virtual reality, the extended reality, AI, all these different technologies that are also licensed and also create their own ecosystem. So we can not only have the normal football games that are going on now that you see on television, but we can have virtual games with real players playing on a a soccer field studio, like as far as a studio about the size of a football field with all the AI cameras wearing special suits and there's one team in Italy playing against another team I'm in Brazil, different parts of the world, but having the sensation of having a real game going on and nobody has to travel, nobody has to f- actually go to a stadium and, and collect tickets and all the rest of it. It's all happening in a virtual world. Amazing when you think about it, but this is the future. And during during the, the last pandemic, for example, imagine all these people actually stuck at home, but this could have been going on in a virtual world. And then we've got gaming entertainment. We've got actual sponsorship deals, media deals. So we've got companies like, like Netflix, who they see the potential of doing shows. I mean, if you go onto Netflix or Amazon Prime or HBO or these different streaming media companies, you'll see they do a lot of documentaries and limited edition series about the zero to hero stories of athletes who actually actually came from the ghettos and made it big, big time. And so there's a lot of interest in this whole model, but also creating these actual reality shows around young talent progressing their way through their careers. So there's there's a lot of different revenue streams here. And remember, we're only talking about initially soccer or football. Where I come, football is a different thing, but we'll just call it soccer. But this can be transferred across into other sports, golf, tennis, basketball, hockey. I mean, there's, there's, there's 50 different sports or more that you can basically take this model, this actually blueprint, and transfer it across. And it increases the layer of income. So that's just an overview of the PACs. Now, the PACs, remember I said this founders phase began February 20 and runs through until August 16th. Well, the normal prices, the full prices are what you're going to pay in August, but they have been discounted each month. So today is 2nd of May. So we're now in the May in this green column now. So you can see here, if you wait till August, you're paying $750, but now you're getting a $150 discount if you get the five the, the base level pack. And rather than paying $150,000 for the top tier, you're paying $120,000. So when you take action, does make a difference because it does impact basically the price that you're going to pay and also it impacts the price because when you upgrade, you pay the upgraded difference. So let's say you got a... $500 pack in February, March, and then you want to upgrade in May to the $2,000 level. You can see it's now $2,400, but you pay the difference between the $600 and the $2,400. So you don't pay the difference between $500 and $2,400. You pay the difference in what the packs are in that month. Make sense? So basically... And as you upgrade, remember, you keep all the benefits of your previous packs and get all the additional benefits of the new pack you upgraded to. Okay, so let's talk about a summary of some of the new things were added. So there's a lot of excitement around the health and sports sciences because that's already being developed. It's already ready to go. There is a high demand. There's already international clubs knocking on the door beating the doors down actually and saying, when can we get access to this? So that's a revenue stream ready to go, start making money, September 1, go live. Also, 
our valuation of intellectual property of the technology went from 1 billion in February to 5 billion at the end of March. And one of the big drivers of that was when the new virtual reality and extended reality technology was added into the mix and brought into this ecosystem, it boosted the valuation. And that's an indication that they see this as a big revenue stream. And so the sports science comes with a $25,000 pack or, or currently the 30. So we can just go back one. You see here, the sports science comes with the 30,000 and the AI, VR, XR comes with a $60,000 pack. And you might be saying, I just don't see myself being able to afford that. Well, that's okay because there are other options. So we've had the accelerator pack over this last month of April and it's, Basically, a $6,000 pack. There's only 5,000 available. We've currently got 2,350 left remaining available. And you can get three of these per account. So if your account with the Limitless community, you can have up to three of these packs, so up to 18,000. And what does it give you? Well, it gives you 10 nodes, gives you a certain allocation of tokens. It enables you to earn rewards from minting those tokens. But basically... Um, you're getting a one-fifth share of the normal allocation you'd get with a $25,000 pack and 10% and and and, and of the normal rewards you get with the $50,000 pack. So you don't have to go all the way to 50000 or 25000 to access those two new categories, but you can basically get the accelerator pack and get a partial share. So it's a, it's a way to tap into those rewards, which are going to be huge reward categories. And and they'll basically be available until sold out. So I said, we had started with 5,000. We're, we're less than half now already. So it's probable that at the end of May, if not next month at the latest, that'll be gone. Also, with the referral plan, when you've done a bit of a deep dive into that, you'll see that this accelerator pack enables you to boost up the amount of referral commission that you've qualified for as well. Last night, we had the Robin Hood pack released. And what's that all about? Well, it's saying, yep, we've got people who want access to these sports science and health sciences rewards, that category. They want the VR and XR and AI technology, but they, they're in countries where even 6,000 is a lot of money. So for a very limited window, you can get a $500 Robin Hood pack. What does that give you? Well, there's 10,000 of these available. There's actually 90, I looked before, just for the Zoom, there's 9,310 left. So so already you know, they, they get, they're, they're, they're selling. You can have up to two per account. So you can have two of these per account. Okay. But you must have purchased a founder's pack to access it. So you can't buy in isolation. The accelerator pack, you don't have to get a founder's pack. You can just buy that by itself. The Robin Hood pack, you must have at least purchased some other pack. So the lowest pack is the $600 pack. But once you've got that, you can now tap into the Robin Hood pack and you can have up to two of these. You get one node and you get some tokens and you get digital rewards. You get to mint your tokens. You get the the, the rewards from validating transactions on the blockchain, you get 2% of the normal allocation from the sports science category and 1% of the virtual reality. So it's because basically, you know, $500 is 1% of 50,000 and, and 500 is 2% of 25,000. So you've got to buy a founder's pack. You don't get an e increase in your commission rate with this pack because it's at the low level and it's a, a limited a, a window of time as well. It basically until 1 p.m. UTC, universal time, April 6th, this is available. So it's not until sold out. It's basically get it in the next four days. So if you, if you really like the idea of at least you don't have money to upgrade to a higher level right now, and you just want to lock in some of the sports science and health sciences, some of the virtual reality, XR reality, then basically this is a, a, a great solution for you. You know, and it's only only five hundred dollars per pack, so it's it's been heavily heavily discounted. I mean, 
<clears throat> Normally it would be six hundred, but they've dropped it down to five hundred dollars as well. So this was released last night. There, if you go to the official uh, channel for Limitless YouTube channel, you can also get the full overview. But uh, I'll put the recording up about this as well, and you can look at this chart as well. So you've basically got the Robin Hood giving you access to some benefits that normally come with a $30,000 and $60,000 pack for $500, as long as you've got at least the base level. So you would have to spend, just going back, you'd have to get the Academy pack, if you're brand new, $100. You would get the first level pack, which is currently $600. That's $700 in total. And then you can access the Robin Hood pack. So... If you wanted one Robin Hood pack and you were a brand new person, your total outlay would be twelve hundred. A hundred plus six hundred plus five hundred. But you can add up to two of these. 